Hello guys, this is Wajo here. Yes, finally, after like 5 months, I finally did another car review. And today I'm going to review is Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10 GSR. Yes, the GSR version. There is a 3 versions in the game, which is MR, RS, and my, my version is GSR. Today I'm going to review GSR only as RS... RS and GSR are like only the exterior difference and uh, the the MR is just basically automatic I mean in real life it's a twin clutch SST but still I like to drive man more so yeah and like okay I was tell specs right now which is a which is a based in real life Japanese market which is JDM 276 horsepower at 6500 rpm and 422 Nm or 311 foot pounds at 3500 rpm. This car is just basically same. I mean, if you want more, even more faster, go for MR, which is cheap option but more boring. And the identical way is just to recognize the 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 MR and GSR is just by the stock rims, but it's with it's un it's aftermarket rims. I I don't know, but it, if there's more way, I don't I'm not sure. So tell me in the comments. And yeah, of course, is this is the aftermarket big carbon roof, which is from a from a modification. You can change it. It's like a final edition because why not I want to make it look like a final edition so yeah all right let's move on to the next test which is acceleration and of course I'm not going to the f the top speed because th I did not delete the limiter yes I don't want to spend 100 million to delete the, the, the limiter I want to keep it bone stock all I did is just change the color to white and put on a black hood I mean black roof all right so let's go all right here comes the 0 to 180 the reason why it's 180 is because I this is the limit because I did not delete the limiter which is I don't want to spend 100 million on this car and I want to keep it bone stock like I said before and of course I will shift on the 6500 rpm which is the highest horsepower you could get so don't go to the comment and say what the hell you did not shift on the red line this is not how you do the acceleration test you fucking knew okay this is this is not how you shift you shift on the on the best best horsepower you could get not the red line this is not how you shift okay all right i don't have much to say so three two one Alright, yep. I don't know if it's quick or not because this is 280 horsepower. I mean, 276 horsepower. The 280 is the PS. I don't know what PS means. I only know HP means horsepower. 276, so. I don't know if it's quick or not because, yeah, decide for yourself and and also tell me in the comments. So alright, let's move on to the next test. It's kind of pretty bad if you were like on a thirty, so consider going like around like twenty. Like, what speed I'm going right now, of course you don't turn like fast, many. Of course, you could give gas, but don't don't give too much or else you're going over 20 and you'll hit the wall. And basically, this, this test is just turning. And it's actually pretty good as long as you just drive slowly and not like driving like too fast. But yeah, it's good. However, the handling... It's kind of have a lot of body roll, but if you could control it, then 
then you're good to go. So yeah. And so basically, if you could handle a car with a lot of body roll, yeah, you could go for it. And um, move on to the next next test is which is kind of like suitable for evil, like evil, evil, evil lines. All right, let's go. And the next test is off road, and. While well, while well, going here, I, I did a research, which is you cannot go off road. I mean, the evil ten wasn't off road like the 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 older evils like evil three, evil four, or evil eight, evil nine. So this car is just truly like high performance for tr for tracks, not for off road. But why not give it a try since it has a all wheel drive system? All right here we go. And of course it's slow because it's not upgraded. And I got it through thanks to the thanks to the four wheel drive system. I mean all wheel drive system. And I want to give it a try again because why not? It's pretty good though. If you if you upgrade it, yeah yeah I, I believe you could go through here faster. Oh oh yeah, I forgot to mention this this is a rare import game pass, so if you have rare import and want to buy this car, yeah, I mean I think that's all the tests. So let's go on to the conclusion. So yeah, overall this car is everything is pretty good. If you like to shift gears, like shift here and there, shift here and there, you go for GSR or RS. But if you are like mobile players or or the the idiots who who are lazy to press Q E Q E Q E, go for MR. But I want to say again, if you cannot drive manual with keyboard, you have major skill issue you ever had. The reason why I did not do the Sentu test because I it, it has a lot of like a uh, long stretch, especially the finish one is the longest. Overall, this is a track car, but yeah, at least give it a try. And of course, I know the gearing is not enough for the top speed. Yeah, the top speed, I, I believe it's kind of low. I, I'm not sure because I did not delete the limiter. I keep the limiter on for a long time. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.